At ten months, a very early age for cougars, he has left home and is entirely on his own, hunting and attempting to establish a territory. Never in his young life so far has he ever encountered a black bear. What he has observed is a furry object moving around. He decides to take a closer look at exactly what it is, predator or prey. The yearling bear has awakened from his drowsy winter state to forage in the mild weather. After a late winter snack, a bear often returns to its den. But a four-legged stranger has come calling. The young bear has never laid eyes on anything like this. The cougar is mystified, curious. It's possibly a fatal mistake. Curiosity, they say, killed the cat. It may be sleepy-eyed, but the bear is not easily intimidated. Eventually, the bear reacts. Enough's enough. Some sparring, some threat displays, but nothing serious so far. Seconds later, the cougar seems to have the upper hand. A sudden, vicious attack. This time, the bear does not back away. This encounter has been a rather rude awakening, but the stranger appears to have moved on. Another sneak attack. But then the cougar lies down in front of the bear, almost like a playful kitten. Has it all been exercise? A bit of a romp? The sleepy-eyed bear drifts back into hibernation. It is also the middle of winter in northern Quebec. Mining operations and mill sites send eerie smoke signals into the sky, proclaiming man's expansion into the wilderness. They may have tamed the forest, but not the phantom hermit, the lynx. Paths for hydroelectric towers topple trees, leaving open scars across the landscape. For the lynx who will not cross open, unprotected areas, this creates many problems, including access to snowshoe hare populations. Our male lynx, out hunting in his territory on a winter day, picks up a new scent. A female lynx has recently passed this way. The breeding season is just around the corner, 